Battery manufacturer British Volt wants us to be more conscious of cobalt, one of the rarest and most important minerals you've probably never heard of. Formed by mining copper and nickel, mainly in the Democratic Republic of Congo, cobalt is everywhere. In the lithium-ion batteries in your smartphone, laptop and tablet, to medical scanners, industrial magnets, alloys in gas turbines and jet engines, and also as a catalyst to remove sulphur from petrol. But climate change and electric cars, and the batteries that power them, have created an even greater demand. At the moment, the growth of the cobalt market is a big opportunity for places like the DRC, which have it. That industry is going to have to scale to about four times the size it is today to meet projected demands for electric vehicle batteries. Experts say that by 2030, that global demand will mean that half the world's supply of cobalt will go into EV batteries. So surely that's good for the Democratic Republic of Congo, where over 60% of the world's supply of cobalt originates and where nearly three quarters of its citizens live in extreme poverty. Right? Well, not exactly. For the DRC, cobalt has become complicated. You see, about 10% of all DRC's cobalt originates from so-called artisanal mines, some employing children and many without health or safety protections. In the drive to extract cobalt, the environmental, pollution and social impacts of informal mining are sometimes overlooked. It's a challenging and complex environment. But there's so much potential. The drive for cobalt represents a once-in-a-generation opportunity for the DRC to lift its people out of poverty, create a new middle class and build education and health systems that could improve the quality of life of its citizens for generations to come. And that social transformation begins by helping their miners, including those in the informal mines, to work better, smarter and safer. So it's an 11,000 workforce business and most of those are from our community. People see us as companies that can offer jobs, good salaries. Our people, our strengths. So safety is our first priority here at KCC. When we onboard uh, people, we have specific induction. What is the hazard they are, they, they will be exposed. Anyone at all has the right to stop something that is unsafe. Anything that cannot be done safely will not be done. British Vault, with industrial miner Glencore, are keen to raise standards across the cobalt industry and help set new benchmarks in traceability, sustainability and transparency. Glencore is a founding member of the Fair Cobalt Alliance, a multi-stakeholder action platform committed to remediating child labour, improving working standards and investing in a more diverse economy. Glencore is playing a lead role in trying to set up the way cobalt should be produced and marketed. We want to make sure that those minerals are produced in a very responsible way and a sustainable way. Being involved in discussions uh, about responsible sourcing and sustainability, it is exciting. The society and our stakeholders will watch us carefully and they expect results. And so we have a duty to succeed. Everyone with a smartphone, tablet, laptop or electric car can help change the lives of the cobalt communities in the DRC. So whilst we rely on having cobalt in our batteries, and that probably will be the case for the next five or six years at least, we do need to make sure we've got good traceability and management of those cobalt supply chains. We want to be incentivizing the responsible parts of the cobalt mining industry and not the less responsible parts. Responsible sourcing starts by taking responsibility, and as consumers and stakeholders in the cobalt supply chain, we have a duty to give something back to the miners of the DRC. So next time you press that battery-powered on button, think cobalt and where it came from. Part of our electrified future is to make the world aware of how important the people of the DRC are in helping us reach the goal of net zero together.